Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord we God's life. All right, Internet, I'm just going to lob one out there for you. Your church should offer communion every week. It shouldn't be something that's so offensive, but as soon as somebody says something, that objective. Your church, if you are a Lutheran, should offer communion every single week. People get really defensive. Like, I mean, who are you to say what I can and can't do? Who are you to say that I have to have it that much? Who to say that it's necessary? Are you saying that if I don't take it every week, I'll go to hell? I'm saying that your church should offer communion every week. It might not hurt you. In fact, it would probably do you a lot of good if it is what God says it is, and it does what God says it does, that you receive it every week. I mean, the word often should mean something. In the large catechism, Luther would write, However, if you say, but the words are added, as oft as you do it, there he compels no one but leaves it free to our choice, answer, that's true. Yet, it is not written that we should never do so. Yea, just because he speaks the words as oft as ye do it, it is nevertheless implied that we should do it often. And it is added for the reason that he wishes to have the sacrament free, not limited to special times like the Passover of the Jews, which they were obliged to eat only once a year, and that just upon the fourteenth day of the first full moon in the evening, and which they must not vary a day, as if he would say by these words, I institute a Passover or a supper for you, which you shall enjoy not only once a year, just upon this evening, but often, when and wherever you will, according to everyone's opportunity and necessity, but bound to no place or appointed time. See, when Luther talks about receiving the sacrament often, I don't even know that he's necessarily talking about just once a week. He says, as often as you need it, as often as you desire it, as often as it is given. So the real question then isn't simply how often must you take it lest you go to hell, but do you really think there's nobody in your church that needs it? In other words, do you really think that if you were to go through the secret lives of every last person in your congregation, that at least one of them isn't privately having one of the worst weeks of their life and might really need Jesus to be there? Do you really think that that person who came in and is not a regular attender, but just kind of here sporadically here and there, that that's nothing at all happened in their life that week that they woke up and thought, you know what, I really need Jesus more than waffles today, so I better go to church. Do you really think that this is about how much it must be received? This is a gift. Your church should offer the gift because that's what it's established to do. It's, it's not just for you. It's for your neighbor's very worst day. If you don't really want to take it that week, I mean, we could probably talk, but why does that mean your neighbor can't have it? Why does that mean that, that all of the world must put their spiritual needs on hold because you don't want it? I'm not saying you have to have it. I'm saying that it's a gift, that God actually wants it to be available for you so that when you do need it, be it once a week or even more, um, because there are weeks where that might be necessary. There are weeks where you might be laying in a hospital and your pastor might bring it to you twice, three, four, maybe even daily because you are facing that last great enemy death and you want to go in the comfort of the forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation given to you in Christ's body and blood so that when the devil assails you with every last I should have and every last bit of the life that flashed before your eyes, you might be able to answer it with a solid amen given to you that you would eat and drink salvation itself and know that the devil would have no quarter here, that sin would have no room to condemn here because it is forgiven, that, that death itself has been undone in the communion of all of the saints. That's a gift. Your church should have communion every week because there's at least one person there who needs it. And if you really can't stand to stomach it every week, talk to me. Talk to your pastor, really. Um, but I don't know that you should say nobody should be allowed to have it. I'm just saying. If it is what God says it is, and it does what God says it does, and the word often is not used to say once a year or even once a week, but just if you need it, it should be available to you. Well, then why isn't it available? 
something to think about.